This is purely an entertainment channel, not a how-to channel. I'm new to turning, so if you see something, say something in the comments below. Welcome back to the channel. In this project, we're gonna try and take this kiln-dried Itmo, 11 inches across, four inches wide. Ooh, it's the biggest piece of wood I've ever turned. Uh, well, I haven't turned it yet, but we're gonna turn it on the Laguna lathe. I don't know much about Itmo. We're gonna find out together. Let's get started. Boys, heavy. It's like talking to a wall when you don't look at me. I wanna speak. My mind and tell you how I feel. But it's like talking to a wall when you don't look at me. Please just look at me. I'm a ticking time bomb that goes out easily. You always know which buttons you should push, baby. I'm a ticking time bomb that goes out easily. But you're still here. This is ridiculous. I've gotten it round, but yep, she's uh, top heavy right here. It's a dense, dense, dense section of wood. And then the light airy piece right through here. It's like you can see it's getting like all tore out, but yet here it's like super hard. It rolls that way. Bring it up this way. And it rolls that way. It's out of balance. God damn it. I got eleven by four Sapili. Try that and see if, if it maybe it's me, maybe it's the machine. I don't know. 11 4 Sapili. Let's give it a shot. Look at the size of this. It is big. It's huge. Look at the size of this bowl. It's gigantic. That's the biggest bowl I've ever turned. Whew. Look at the bottom. It's nice, nice and wide, deep inside. The chatoyants on this thing. Ay, ay, ay. Look at the chatoyants. Dance especially across right there. That's just beautiful. Oh, jeez. Inside, it's nice. Let's take a look. Let's see. What kind of measurement we got here? So we're measuring, ooh, 10 and three quarters by three and three eighths. Uh, inside we're at two and three quarters roughly on the edge, probably from the inside center. It's a lot deeper, closer to three, 
three inches. But, wow. All right, let's take a close look at this. Can we get the dust off it? <laughs> there you go. Look at that. Just look at that chatoyance it's right here. This is a beautiful piece of sapili. That chatoyance just dances across here. We got some beautiful golds, almost silvers in there, and it transpires right down through into the bottom, which, by the way, I've been asked about my logo right there. It's a little evergreen on the, uh, in the center of a end log. I uh, can't really pick it up very well in this photograph with my name on the bottom. That's all it is. Um, less interested in, in this, but some people wanted to see it, so there it is. Um, bottom, just nice and bait, you know, give it a nice solid base to rest itself on. Love the little side design here. And the inside's nice and deep for all that salad. Look at those lines for that sapili. Now we had that chatoyance also right here. Got a little chatoyance there, it dances across. Hope you can see that. And then in between there, you got these nice dark grains. The lines just showing through there. It's just beautiful, dark, 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 dark. And of course on the inside, you can kind of see that ribbon sapili as well. Beautiful, beautiful wood. And you can also see, maybe you can kind of just see right there, there's a little bit of a catch. <laughs> and down here, and right through here. <laughs> so yeah, I kept uh, trying to, I kept trying to chase it and get it out. Um, but I was, it was getting so thin right here that it's like I dare not go any further or otherwise we're gonna have a really shallow bowl and turn it into a platter. So I just chose not to do the, uh, chase it any further, sand it down best I could and it also came out of uh, center let's see if you can see this here this little wall here is a lot thinner than this side over here is a lot thicker so not too crazy about uh, large bowls because man for some reason like that itmo got off of center and now this thing got off center now the itmo has definitely got a, a dense side to it but this turned out really well. We're gonna size it down for the next project, see if it's me or the lathe. But uh, yeah, we're gonna bring it down to a much smaller bowl, I think, but this thing is huge. This is big. This is the biggest bowl I ever turned. I like it. I hope you did too, and if you did, you know, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and that notification bell. Thanks for giving me a turn on your screen, and we'll see you next week. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> I love that ship toys right there. I wonder if this would work better if I had a plate on it. Let's give that a try. <laughs>